eens het zaad. Wait, let's Wait. do a couple intro. A couple intro? Yes. You know others have them, like ship name and then like, hi, I'm Tungin. Yeah, because others have a ship name. We don't. True. Hey, I'm Tungin. And I'm Farina. Welcome. To... So what we're doing today is I asked you guys or rather the girls among you on my community post and in my IG story to send me any questions that you were too afraid to ask the guy before so Tungin can answer them for you today. Hi, I'm Tungin. I'm a guy. Um a man, a male. I'll try my best to answer all the questions. Of course, you cannot always generalize. I'm excited. I never knew that there was there was so much of a mystery, you know? Was there never anything you wanted to know about girls? I think I always wondered what it's like to have boobs. <laughs> well, it's not that special. No? No. It just feels like having arms or legs, basically. Like a second pair of arms? Yeah, but you can't grab anything with them. It's amazing. <laughs> but you have boobs. It's different. <laughs> so there were quite a few questions, over 4,000 to be exact. Whoa. So I picked the most popular and the most interesting ones. And I'd say, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. Does the height of a girl matter to most guys? Mm, I think so, yes. Yeah. I think for most think guys, so it matters. Many guys don't like to be shorter uh -huh. than yeah. their girl. For me, it doesn't matter. Like Sometimes when you wear those like really tall high heels, you're like... Yeah. 190. 190, yeah. right. So she's taller than me and I don't have a problem with that. I but think it's kind of kind of cute, actually. Yeah, you know... Um, I like it. I like to be taller that, than That you. guy. Joe Jonas doesn't have a problem with that either. That's true. You know, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. Yeah, uh, Sophie Turner, right. Yeah, but I think that's, that's an issue. I think most guys, if I generalize, most guys want to be taller than their girl. Mm -hmm. Next one. Do guys feel annoyed when their girlfriends have mood swings when they're on their period? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it does depend. Like personally, I think what matters for me is if <laughs> If I know, if I know it's if it's because of your period yeah. or if it's just I have to know if I did something wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. If I don't have any idea why you're <laughs> upset, then then of course I get kind of stressful, uh, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's stressful sometimes. But if I know that it's because of your hormones and because of your period, then I understand and I. You're very best. caring, actually. I'm very caring. Mm -hmm. I'm very caring and. Careful. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, do guys get annoyed if their girlfriend's on, a, on their period? Some, if they don't understand. But luckily you do. I do. Another period question. Are guys disgusted by their girlfriends or girls' period? For me, it doesn't really matter, but... I think a lot of guys are. Like what I hear from other guys, I think some are kind of put off by the idea. It's just a natural thing. Of and course, just a natural, like for me it doesn't process. matter, it's just, just like... Yeah. Like a nosebleed, yeah, like, yeah, basically. Not even, it's like peeing or pooping. It's like something that, that just happens, Everyone you know? does it. Yeah. So again, it does depend on the man himself, mm -hmm. but some immature... Guys, mm -hmm. I, I even know some. I do have some some guy friends that have like don't like the idea of women excreting stuff, you know, <laughs> like like pooping or something. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a no go for them. Girls do poop. Actually, yes, yes, they do. They do. A lot. They do. All poop. of them. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat, you poop. That's right. That's just how it is. Next one. Why do guys act different with their girl when they are with their friend? Yeah, that's interesting because I used to do that a little bit. In the beginning? In the beginning because it's like yeah. it really does depend on the person and the relationship also. If you have a very intimate relationship with mm -hmm. your significant other, ideally you kind of open up emotionally. Among guys that's like... A no-go. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> something that doesn't really happen much unless you're really drunk. And having this significant other who you have this emotional bond going on and mm. this intimacy bringing them to your your group of friends i think that's why this kind of stuff happens a lot of guys are afraid to show emotion mm -hmm. like that's that's a thing it's considered weak and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. so i think that's why it happens are men embarrassed to buy sanitary products for their girl why would you be embarrassed about that I know you're not. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember all your products you use. I'm he a knows pro. all of them. 
<laughs> oh, true. I always get the right brand, the right he size, does. the right smell. Yeah. yeah. I'm never embarrassed about it because I was like, it's just, I don't know why. It's like buying toilet paper, yeah, basically. Yeah, I, I think maybe some guys give up the impression because maybe they're embarrassed because they don't know about that stuff. Yeah, maybe they're Because they feel kind of lost if you're not a pro like me. True. And navigate through everything. And I get taught him little, all the ways. The thing with the wings, you know? The thing with the wings? Yeah. The wing ones, they're always the best. <laughs> yeah. They're always the best. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Always. Oh. Always the best. <laughs> no? Always sponsorship coming in. <laughs> Next, Next question. question. <laughs> Next question. Other than looks, what is the first thing a guy might find attractive in a girl? Personality is the first thing, you know, but I think personality is not something that you can notice very quickly, mm. you know, that you can judge very quickly. Yeah. For me, voice. The voice? The voice. Oh, really? Yeah. So when we first talked on the phone with each other, did you like my voice? I like your voice, yeah. yeah. The voice and, you know, the way people the way people talk. I think you get a rough idea about their personality from the way they talk. I also loved your voice when I first heard it, actually. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. I was like... Hi. <laughs> no. Okay, next one. Really interesting question. Does your <laughs> Does your thing jiggle uncomfortably when running? Yeah, interesting question. I actually had this issue a uh, few few weeks ago. So <laughs> you do know we have something thing. hanging in there. Thing. And box. <laughs> so if you run, it does Jiggle, yeah. It does jiggle. So is it uncomfortable though? That depends. Like it only jiggles if I think it's the same with a with a sports bra, you know? Right. You know, boobs. It kinda hurts. Jiggle. Yeah, if if we're running without wearing a sports yeah. bra, so it kinda hurts. If you run and you wear really loose pants yeah. and then it does jiggle. <laughs> it's not so much about the pink <laughs> itself, it's like you know? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't say that! Then they like, ooh! They, <laughs> that's, that's, Woo! Like, ooh. That, that can be uncomfortable. It does jiggle Jiggled. uncomfortably <laughs> if you're like running naked or with really loose <laughs> underwear. But if you have the right pants, then it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How do you feel walking around with your girl when she's looking extra good and guys are staring? Um, I like it when you look extra good, of course. You always do it, of course. Thank you. But um, I think it does depend on the intentions yeah. of other guys staring. If they just appreciate respectfully, then it's no problem. Mm -hmm. But if I feel like they're objectifying and sexualizing and all that disrespectful <laughs> then, then I'm then I'm ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Do guys often have dirty thoughts of their girl? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe sometimes. I think it's normal, you know. Yeah, but only yeah. appropriate dirty thoughts. Only like of very respectful dirty thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Is it important that a girl shaves the legs or does it not matter? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't care. I don't shave my legs. I have to say I do think like most most guys actually yeah. do not like body hair uh -huh. on women, which is very hypocritical considering that most of them look like apes. <laughs> <laughs> I do think most guys don't like body hair mm -hmm. on women. I don't like body hair on myself. Actually, yeah. it's your body, do what you want, you know. What are some skin chips that guys are comfortable with among guys? Yeah, that also depends on the person and also the culture. You know, you see guy friends in Korea holding yeah, hands. Yeah, really cute actually. In Western culture. You don't see that. That is... Ever. Yeah, you don't really see that. Except for also, couples. I also don't hold hands with guy friends. friends. I don't like, I don't hold hands with anyone apart from you. Okay, now we're getting to a very interesting question. Do you guys show your thing to other guys to compare your size? Why would you do that? 
I think you often see it in movies. Yeah, that's that's weird. No, I have never seen that happening, nor would I ever think about doing it. Is that's that's weird. <laughs> that's really weird. Why would you? No, no. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm going out to some some other guy and be Naked? like, yo, let's compare sizes. It's weird. <laughs> Does anyone actually do that? If you're like changing or stuff yeah. after at, at the gym or something, you, you do see a lot of unexpected <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it does happen. Unexpected <laughs> People are people are changing, people are showering, people yeah. are naked. That's what happens. But mm -hmm. I think it's an unspoken rule. First, you don't stare. stare. Up. Yeah, you don't stare <laughs> at other guys. <laughs> like sometimes you see it like like in the corner of your eye or something. Like, like yeah, you can't really <laughs> sometimes you can't avoid, you know? You like tying your shoe and someone at your head's level, someone just stands and takes their pants off. <laughs> And it's there, you know, but you try not to see it. So I don't think like, <laughs> people would go out their way and compare sizes now. It's, that's dumb. What does it mean when a guy flirts but at the same time acts like he doesn't want you? Oh. 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 He's playing. Yeah. He's playing you. He's playing games. Mind yeah. games. Most definitely. Power games. Power yeah. games. Uh, that's just... Toxic behavior. Yeah, but I think girls do that too. Definitely. Yeah, they yeah. like to have someone... Uh, it's like, not just guys. They like to leave people on the hook. They don't like them, but they want to be liked. And they want the, mm -hmm. that attention, that power yeah. position, you know? They keep on contacting you, I guess, but... Have them, they're not like, put them on res reserve mm -hmm. or something, yeah. That's not a guy thing. No, it's, it's not that's a guy like, thing. It's like just toxic behavior. Toxic people thing. Is there a compliment that a guy really wants to hear? Generally speaking, I do think like guys like to hear things that makes them feel manly. Manly, you know? like, right? Like, whoa, you're so buff. Strong, you know, strong, brave, this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Dependable. Mm. What would you like to hear? Me? I like being called pretty. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. <laughs> no, I think what's stuck with me a lot is that strong thing, you know, strong. growing up and Korean sanai. I like to be strong, but yeah, at you the are. same time, I don't want to be grouped with this whole toxic masculinity <laughs> thing. Why do boys in general find it so hard to express themselves and their feelings? Is it because of toxic masculinity? Yes, it is definitely because of toxic masculinity. I think it's also like a societal thing. Boys grow up having to be strong and manly, you know, yeah. this, this kind of stuff and feelings uh, weak feelings are for a woman, you don't mm -hmm. show feelings. I do think that also puts a lot of pressure on guys, which makes them so toxic. Because, <laughs> you know, actually a lot more women take care of their mental health compared to men. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that it's more women having mental health problems, but I think it's like around the same. Men just cope in other ways. Yeah. It's not really coping, it's just like building up stuff yeah that's yeah. why they do stupid stuff you know thank you very much for your insights yes i know they were a little bit unhelpful but i did my best <laughs> unhelpful <laughs> any final words um yeah toxic masculinity mm -hmm. is toxic right it sucks True. stop it i hope you guys like this video leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more videos i see you in the next one bye